It's not the things inside my head that keep me going Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me But I believe in something bigger What's up guys, so it is Australia Day today and I've got my little girl here. I'm going to take her to the park real quick, let her run around in the sun. Might get a couple of shots if I'm looking alright and then we're going to come back and punch out some programs. Say hello to the channel Millie. Let's do a little trick. Come here, come here, come here. Roll over. Good girl, roll over. Roll over. Good girl. <laughs> Yes. Right, just got home from the park and I'm making another meal. So this is what I was telling you guys about the other day. So you got your tuna, your brown rice, your cottage cheese, and then you mix that up. Add a little bit of sweet chili light sauce and then some chili flakes. And then that is a really nice meal. And it's easy to make because you don't have to make the tuna. The tuna's already like just in a can. I just use the Uncle Ben's microwave rice, so it's really easy. And then that's it, like there's no really preparation to it. It's quick, it's easy, and it's not plain Jane. Like you don't have to just eat tuna by itself with rice and you know, maybe add a little bit of Tabasco sauce, whatever. The, the cottage cheese really changes everything. What's up YouTube? Eddie Active here. What a beautiful morning it is. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? So, I'm just about to head to the gym. I've been up since like nine o'clock this morning, which is pretty early for me considering I've been trying to reset my body clock. It's now 11.30, gonna go train. Have to leave my poor baby here for like two hours by herself. I feel so bad, but like, I guess that's what you, you gotta do, you know? Like, can't really bring her to the gym with me. I could, you could come, couldn't you? <laughs> day after Australia Day, gonna pump it out. I got a bum knee, I'm probably not even gonna be able to stand, so I might do some seated movements. Um, but yeah, we'll get it done anyway. Nice sunny day, I gotta go upstairs and get my bandage. I've been wearing this like knee wrap. So I'll tell you guys how I did this. I don't know if I recorded it about how this happened, but we did legs the other day with tucks, which you would have seen, and I was fine. Doms weren't even that bad. Standing in the kitchen, and I went to rotate my leg outwards like that, just a little bit, so turn my leg out like that, and I literally just felt something snap, pop right there, and like everyone in the room heard it. Like it was like, Bop! and I was just like, oh shit, oh man, I've pulled a ligament or I've done a muscle or like, you know when sometimes you pull a muscle you don't know what you've done until you move and then the muscle just like wraps up. Well, I was really worried I'd done that, but turns out I just kind of like, I know I pulled on the ligament too hard, that was tender from training and now it's really inflamed, but it's slowly getting better, but I've been limping around. I can't even go up and down my stairs. I'm like legit doing this. So yeah, I'm going to bandage it up, try and keep the joint stable and basically just prevent it from doing any sort of rotations like this. Going, like walking up and down, it's not too bad as long as I keep it straight. Millie, can you grab me a pair of shoes please, honey? Maybe I'm feeling red today. Okay, no worries, papa. <laughs> I bandaged it and just to let you know, it's not my actual patella joint, like my knee joint that's hurting. It's the tibiofibular joint, which is like where the big bone of your leg and then the little bone that runs up the side meets right there. When I put pressure on it, it hurts. By putting this bandage on it, kind of keeps it stable. Left foot's not too, too bad to put on. The right foot... You go first. Go on. A bus slow. I oh, know. I need to get balusters put in here so I can hold on to something. Right, so I've had a few people ask me what do I take um, pre-workout, intra-workout and post-workout. So it's pretty straightforward. I just use any pre-workout that I really feel like. So today I'm having beta pump. Then I add in 
um, three grams of tyrosine, which is a brain booster, so it just helps with your focus. And then agmatine, one gram, just helps bigger pumps and delays muscle fatigue. Then I got my intra workout, which is my BCAAs, pretty straightforward. Uh, two scoops of amino energy, and then I actually add in five grams of leucine because that's the most important amino acid responsible for muscle repair. So you want to actually add in that because you probably don't get enough in the ratios that they put in the usual sup. So that's basically it, and then just the WPI protein afterwards with a little bit of glutamine. If you watched one of my other vlogs, you would have seen I was having a little bit of trouble with the stove while well, it was just like going tick, 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 and not lighting, and then all of a sudden it went boom. And I didn't even know I had hair on my fingers until now, but it full singed the hairs on my fingers off. I didn't even know that I had hair. Let's have a look at the other hands. Well, apparently I do. Anyway, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Diced up some tomatoes and onions. I'm gonna put that in there with the mint, and then I'm just gonna let that cook together. And then that's basically it. Separate it into containers, and you got a little bit of extra flavor. Simple. Chicken preparation is everything. These are like my backup meals. So like when I don't have something to eat, I know I've always got something clean in the fridge, ready to go. I don't have any carbs with these meals because I usually just microwave brown rice packets throwing some veggies on top, whatever. They're like backup meals. What I'm saying is, if you don't have your shit organized, you're more likely to snack on other things in the house or go out for dinner, like on a Friday night, if you don't have something ready. Just a little trick, after you put them in the containers, make sure you let them cool down to room temperature before you put it in the fridge, otherwise they'll go all yucky. Especially if you've got brown rice in there as well. You always wanna make sure that rice is cooled down before you put it in the fridge. Millie, sit. Stay, stay, uh uh, no, stay, good girl. So I've really been struggling to get my meals in since I've been back from Thailand because I'm just used to having only three meals a day. So what I'm doing, like right now in between my lunch and my dinner, I'm trying to fit in another meal. So I'm just having a protein shake with banana and ice. I'm gonna blend it up in the Nutribullet and it's gonna be like a little bit of a smoothie, smoothie, smoothie. Just to kind of get my calories up to where they need to be in order to grow because it takes a little bit of time before your metabolism kind of starts to speed up and you can start eating five, six meals a day. So this is just like a liquid meal basically. Quick outfit change, just about to head to the gym. I actually say that every day, eh? Like, just about to head to the gym, like, obviously. Anyway, I'm drinking my Evian water because I noticed I don't really drink that much water when I'm at home, and if I, like, make sure that I have a good, like, liter before I go to the gym, I get on huge pumps. Like, my muscles are just hydrated, and there's obviously more water in there. So, it's actually something that I've actively been trying to do and really just being conscious of it because like I don't really think about it too much throughout the day like unless I'm thirsty I don't really drink water so I bought this bottle of Evian so that I could carry it around my house and just sip on it all morning until I go on train I've been training with one of my mates Pete today he's a little bit of a shoe collector like me so I guarantee you he will have on a nice pair of shoes knowing that he's coming to train with me not because like we're in competition but I just know that like like when I'm hanging out with someone that I know appreciates shoes I make sure I put my good shoes on, you know? I'm not just wearing my everyday shoes, so... You know, when he walks through the door, I suss out what he's got on. <laughs> he's rolled up in thongs, but... <laughs> he's carried his oh, shoes oh, oh, in. I told you he would be bringing new shoes. The phone was at Spider-Man's. Yeah. You know, shoes don't go on the floor. That's it. That's it, we're rolling in style. We're actually not far off. I mean, oh, I was gonna buy those, at the flight. Yeah, they're so comfy, man. Yeah. These are like a good everyday shoe. I could, I could wear it the whole day and yeah. not get sore feet. They're the exact ones I was going to buy. We, we got the shoes on. That's the first step done. Short shorts on, 30 degrees outside. Time to hit the road. Alright guys, so we just got to the gym. Did a couple of warm-up sets. We're going to be hitting our lap pull-downs first. Supersetting it with the rope. Uh, I don't know what you call it, the rope row. <laughs> um, anyway, we did this in the last video, so we're doing it again. Starting light, but then building our way up every set, so nothing too heavy. Like, I'm looking to get pause reps on the pull downs, and then the same on the, um, the ropes. But then after I do like 10 pause reps, then I do five pump reps at the end just to burn it out.
exercise. So the take home tips for those two exercises is to make sure that you do it under control. And with the pull downs, I'm looking to basically squeeze at the bottom pole and then slowly release. But use your hands just as pull. So don't try and hold onto the to the bar too much with your grip and pull through your forearms and leaning back. You want to stay upright and pull straight down. And then when you're doing the rope one, don't fully extend your arms either. Always keep a little bit of a bend. Keep the elbow flared out so the tension's always on the lat. And then you pull up and squeeze and tuck the elbow in. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. That's going to add in heaps of detail if you superset these two exercises together. Let's go. Pressure on the lats. There you go. Slow it down. Squeeze and hold. Slowly lever forward. Squeeze now. Good. There you go. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Boom. Perfect. There you go. Come on, rip it out. Easy. Good peak. Fuck yeah. So because I'm a cripple, we're a little bit limited to the movements that we can do today. So we're kind of sticking to pretty much just machine work and isolated work. So moving on to doing the hammer strength low row. Really good for building up the lower lats. Actually one of my favorite movements. Um, I usually superset like a dumbbell one arm row, but I obviously can't do that. My knee will pop out. We don't want that. So we're just going to focus on doing about three, four sets of this. Increasing the weight every set as usual. You know the drill. secure myself with my knee. I have to sit quite close to the machine. So I'm not getting that much range. So in order to get a little bit more range, what I'm doing is actually rounding my back out a little bit and letting my shoulders roll forward so that I can get more stretch through my lats and rhomboids and traps. And then I'm coming back, arching my back, squeezing up, seeing my chest out, and then just holding every rep for as long as I can. It's just a little bit of a variation to how you probably normally do. set of this so I'm probably going to be struggling because we've built up to our heavy weight like I said that we do in every other exercise so probably tune for about 8 to 10 on this last exercise.
on max blast all right so I ended up just finishing up with some um, seated shrugs because I couldn't do them standing just with the dumbbells and I've never done them seated before but it actually worked pretty good because you cannot cheat like you have to literally lift just from your traps there's no movement through your lower limbs so I only did like 30 to 40 kilos where I normally would hit 50s but just making sure that I squeezed at the top and then release really slowly so that I wouldn't pull a neck muscle. But I swear, I felt like I was going to throw up and I never thrown up during a training session before. So I'm like, man, I think it's time to get out of here because I've only had like one meal. It's already 5.33. Fuck. Fuck. We've got to eat. All right, so I just got home. No time to eat. I'm going to take Millie to the park still. She's been waiting all day, haven't you, girl? You want to go to the park? You want to go to the park? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, Millie, you sit on the giant and don't lick, all right? You be good girl. Peter barely fits in this car. <laughs> oh, you ready to go to the park, are ya? <laughs> She's like, just hurry up and get in the car. All right, ready, set, go. Full little bunny run. Come on, let's go for a run. Go. I pretend to run with you. Ah, fuck, no, my knee, nah, nah. You go, you go, darling. Run, go. <laughs> Millie, it's dinner time. You want chicken or you want turkey mince? It's up to you. Chicken or turkey mince? We got both. Okay, you can have turkey again. It's like, I don't give a fuck, just give me something. I'm hungry. Sweet little rascal. Just a little bit of dry food in there for you. Ah, 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 wait, 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 wait. You know better. Sit. Cool girl, okay. Manja. Manjari. Where are we? Where are we? Hmm? Did you have a little nap in the car? Just dropping my baby girl off at uh, my mum's house. We're going to be going to Andy's house tonight. And probably stay there, so I figured, well... Instead of leaving Millie all by herself, have a little play date with Lexi, huh? Where's Lexi? Jump! Jump! Come on, let's go! Come! Good girl! Oh, you scared, huh? You scared? Darling girl. Hey! Not even excited to see Lexi, eh? Just walk straight past her, catch her later. <laughs> hey, darling! It's like, no, 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 I'm coming with you. Well, don't leave me here with this bloody thing. Bye, darling. You stay night night at mummy's house. Love you. Yeah, don't pick on her, Lexi. Revolution. 